all to the next session on know-how series. This video is about CMOS transmission gate and its working principle. The most commonly used solution for the voltage drop problem in the past transistor design is the transmission gate. So let us first explore the construction of transmission gate and then we will find out what is the working principle, how this transmission gate is capable of passing both strong 0 and strong 1. The construction of transmission gate is very simple. It is just a parallel combination of NMOS and PMOS transistors with gates controlled by complementary voltages. And here you can see the different symbolic representations of transmission gate. It uses complementary properties of NMOS and PMOS transistors. Since NMOS is capable of passing strong zero, it is used to pull down the output. And similarly, since PMOS is capable of passing strong 1, it is used to pull up the output. Thus, by combining NMOS and PMOS transistors in parallel, we get a perfect 1 and 0 at the output without any degradation, where this degradation was a major problem, or we call that degradation, pressure loadage degradation as a voltage drop problem. This was the most common problem in the pass transistor design. Though we have seen efficient pass transistor design with a level restoring circuit and this transmission gate is a very simple solution for this voltage drop problem rather than having a PMOS pass transistor in the feedback of NMOS pass transistor for the level restoring circuit. Now let us understand the working principle of transmission gate. The transmission gate acts as a bidirectional switch where the switching action is completely controlled by the gate signal. Here it is denoted by C. When C is equal to VDD or equal to logic 1, both the pass transistors, both NMOS and PMOS pass transistors are having complementary control signals. Therefore, when C is equal to VDD, your C bar will become zero. Therefore, both the pass transistors are on and it acts like a flow state switch, allowing the signal from the source side to pass through the gate and obtain at the drain side or A will be equivalent to the B. On the other hand, if C is equal to zero, what happens? Both the transistors are off, thus creating an open circuit between the nodes A and B and therefore the output in the off condition is going to be a high impedance state. Now let us understand in detail how this capacitance at the drain side is getting charged or how it is getting discharged. The behavior of transmission gate in on condition for different inputs can be analyzed. So therefore, first let us have A equal to 1. So the control signals are fixed here. C is equal to VDD, C bar is equal to 0. Therefore, the transmission gate is acting like a closed state switch. So now it is based on the inputs. So now if I say that A is equal to VDD, now what will happen is the transmission gate is now already enabled. The NMOS pass transistor pulls the output node B up to VDD minus VTN and it turns off. So what happens is NMOS is capable of passing strong 0. So therefore, this is not able to pass the strong 1. So in what way the strong 1 has reached this drain end is through this PMOS. Because when you pass through the NMOS pass transistor, this will try to pass through this but since NMOS pass transistor is not capable of passing strong one, it will be charging this particular B node only to VDD minus VTN. Okay, now what will happen is you have a parallel combination of a PMOS pass transistor. This will enable your output or this will try to act as a pull up network and it will pull the output node from VDD minus VTN to VDD. Therefore, the capacitor in this output node will be charged all the way to VDD through PMOS. So through this way, it cannot charge to VDD. So through PMOS, it is capable of passing VDD. Therefore, we can say that the transmission gate has successfully passed strong 1. Now similarly, let us understand how it is capable of passing strong 0. So now I have set here at the source node as A equal to 0. My control signals are not going to change. I have set the NMOS control signal as VDD and PMOS control signal as C bar equal to 0. So therefore my TG is now enabled. 
now when i set a equal to 0 when it is passing through pmos what will happen is pmos is not capable of passing strong zero instead it will pass only a weak zero so therefore this capacitance would have charged up to 1 vtp only okay so now what will happen when it is passing through this genmos genmos is a pull down network so therefore it will act as a strong pull down network and it will try to pull down this mod vtp to zero therefore strong zero is passed through this nmos and not through this pmos so therefore with a parallel combination of both nmos and pmos pass transistor in a transmission gate design it is possible to transmit both strong 1 and strong 0 so now this strong 0 is denoting that the charge which was previously stored all the way up to vdd has been discharged to zero so that is why i have differentiated both charging node b and discharging node b so this is the basic working principle of transmission gate in the subsequent videos we will try to explore how to design a combinational and sequential circuit using transmission gate Thank you all for watching this video through Electronics Insight channel.